How are you? Where are you? A library? What's going on here? I'm just in um, what's known as uh, the meditation room. Aww. And why I've never meditated in here, but here I am. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> yes. Um, congratulations on the film. I know this is not the ideal time to have it out, but it, I think it actually is the best time because everyone's looking for a little bit of reprieve in the, uh, the heaviness of the world right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a light, uh, you know, just really fun, kind of joyful comedy that uh, has a surprising amount of heart and is uh, just, it, it's, it's really great to kind of finally uh, articulate this idea I've had for 20 years of bringing uh, the Eurovision Song Contest, which, which we don't know that much about here in the States, yeah. but is watched by 200 million people every year. And uh, it, I, I just, uh, I'm just happy everyone's finally gonna get to see it. Well, that's what I was just gonna say and forgive the ignorance, but I had no idea about yeah. Eurovision. Um, so this has been something you've been wanting to do for a while? Yeah, I, I um, it's it's something that I, I, I first saw, um, I, I, I go with my wife and her family over to Sweden every summer. It's kind of a summer tradition and, uh, our boys have grown up going there and it's, it's, uh, and the first time we went, one of her cousins sat us down and, and said, uh, listen, let's watch Eurovision. And we're like, okay, what's that? And I sat there for three hours glued to the finale. Mm -hmm. And it's just this amazing spectacle of music, uh, costumes, bizarre props, you name it. Mm -hmm. And, and a mixture of some songs that are, not so great and other songs that are amazing and uh and they and and they love the show and and uh it really becomes this this three-day event that all so, of you watches first of all happy belated father's day i hope you got spoiled by your boys i think so i think it did yeah yeah okay yeah. okay good and your wife is swedish hence you guys going back and visiting did she think your accent was was okay what was the grade on the accent uh she she hasn't even seen the movie yet she'll be watching it along with everyone else you uh, want me to ha send her the pin code that i use for netflix to get in i'm happy to do it that would be great actually can we uh <laughs> can i jot that down uh <laughs> she no she's gonna watch it we're gonna watch it in real time on opening night and uh uh so i'll be i, I think she'll be pleasantly surprised i love yeah. it i was just talking to pierce um he's in Hawaii, Aloha and Mahalo. Um, right. There was just some pictures of him on the beach shirtless at 67. He looks incredible. So how did you get him to play your dad? Well, you know, the, there's always those moments when you're casting a movie and you keep saying, you know, like a Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> and you usually don't land the person you're talking about. Uh, except in this case, when we said, uh, when we had written in the script that <laughs> Lars's father is the most handsome man in all of Iceland. Uh, <laughs> and he agreed. We were just like jumping for joy. I don't know. He just, uh, God bless him. He thought it was funny and he, but just like you said, the, the, the day that we were uh, filming this scene on this fishing boat in between takes, he's just, he, you know, I look dorky in my fishing outfit. Uh, and there's Pierce with his aviator sunglasses, just killing it. Oh. Just taking photos of the surroundings uh, yeah. while everyone's puking over the side of the boat. And he is just calm as a cucumber and just looks like, you know, right out of a magazine. But that's... I guess that's what happens when you play Bond. Right. It, well, you know, casual. Well, if I played Bond, it wouldn't happen for me. But... Why but, don't yeah. you play? That needs to be your next move. Well, that's the whole point of this interview. <laughs> trying to land Bond. So I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm here to congratulate you on becoming the next Bond. Your Great. thoughts? Ah, that was easier than I thought. Thank you. <laughs> You know, before I let you go, what's not going to be easy is getting sports back. I'm also a sports broadcaster in my free time. We are, you know, we both have a love of sport. Are we going to get this back? You know, I, I think it just, uh, it's going to be three steps forward and two steps back. And we just have to make sure everyone looks out for the safety of the players. And uh, yeah, I, it's anyone's guess. Yeah. 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 But what we don't have to guess about is uh, Eurovision. Thank you. What do you want viewers to take away from this film? Well, you know, I think it's just uh, it, it's just kind of a, a nice, wonderful kind of silly, fun comedy to kind of uh, put your feet up and just have an, uh, two hours 
uh, of, of time where you can just laugh and be with your family and, and actually listen to some very catchy tunes. There are I'm some catchy say, tunes. You're going to be humming these songs after you watch this movie again and again and again. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.